Hey everyone, Cody with Meyer Woodworks. Here's Alex. Alex, why do you want a vacuum? Well, I bought the x carb in 2018, and ever since I had it, I always wish I had a vacuum table. Uh, the factory spoil board had these threaded inserts, and depending on what piece, what size piece I had, a lot of times it didn't work, like the threaded insert was too far away or too close. Um, but with the vacuum table, you can just you know, set the piece down, square it up, um, and cut and so that was like the biggest reason for me wanting the vacuum table So this is X carve correct correct. It's and a thousand millimeter thousand millimeter. Yeah. What's, what's, that, think, what's think, that in freedom units? I, I think hours? it's the, I think it's the standard now. It's like 30 by 30 30 by 30. Yeah. Okay, so we have we put together for Alex a custom 28 by 28 inch a single piece vacuum table so this is a prototype, Alex was kind enough to test this for me. We have All-Star CNC grid gasket, and then we have All-Star CNC tile gasket on top of the surfaced piece of MDF. So what that allows it to do, MDF is actually a porous material, so it allows the air to flow through it, which is why you need to surface that top and bottom layer. Uh, air coming through, on a MDF piece is just called downdraft. Downdraft is terrible. You still have a microfilm of air under that part no matter what. So what size is this part? This is probably about 12 inches by four inches. Yeah, so about right. right. Yep. Just a standard piece of plywood and you can see 28 by 28 open table. We can move the part all around. and we are able to successfully hold this part. Now with text like this, I wanna point out, there are limitations to the system, obviously, right? So when you're doing profile cuts in small text or letters, there obviously are gonna be limitations to the system. Uh, the system will not be able to hold that. Even my four x eight system using a black box hurricane would not be able to hold this text. So I think that is important to point out. Um, but if you're doing pockets like this, if you're doing uh, cutting boards, juice yep. grooves, uh, what else kind of products do you normally use or what, what are you going to use this for? Um, a lot of cutting boards, just engraving names. I do little kids stools with names engraved in it. Um, I do do through cuts for like uh, wreath signs for people's front doors at a quarter inch material. Um, and I'll still just use tabs for those like I, I would before, but uh, this still makes it a million times easier to throw my material on there and carving right no there's no tabs right unless yep. you're doing some intricate work like that sure yeah if you're doing larger stuff it'll hold it down you can prevent using tabs yeah uh, you don't have to worry about double side tape and more more importantly i think is you're not fiddling with clamps and clamping yep. systems t-tracks all of that stuff uh, we've all seen you're carving something boom your your bit runs into the clamp you break the bit you potentially ruin the clamp right, right. Um, you got all that nonsense you're worrying about. So the vacuum solution in a lot of ways is a lot easier of a, a product to use because all you're doing is putting the material down, you're turning the vacuum on, doing what you need to do on the CNC, you turn the vacuum off and boom, you're done. Your finished product is ready to go. Yep, and that's actually a great point. So I've run the suck it dust boot on here and all the time I would worry about the boot making contact with the clamps um, as I'm running too and that happened a bunch of times. Good point. So let me show you a little bit about the tile gasket. Alex, you want to grab me one of those tile gaskets, please? All right, so this is a piece of the tile gasket. This is adhesive backed. This comes from All Star CNC. So all you're going to do, stick this down to your MDF. And you can see it's a pretty thin product. This is a 16th of an inch. So you just want to make sure when you're setting your Z height, if you are doing profile cuts, you want to cut into this tile gasket only about 0 0.02, 0 0.03. And that's going to help extend the life of the tile gasket because this is the consumable product. You're not cutting through like you would on a traditional spoil board where you're cutting into the MDF. Instead, now you are cutting into this gasket material. Uh, so like I said, to preserve that life, make sure you're checking your Z height. The good thing about these tiles, they are extremely easy to replace. You just peel them up, toss it, 
and put down a new one. So if you do accidentally mess up your Z height and you blow through a tile, not a big deal. Hey guys, so Cody and I just tested out doing um, a small letter through cut uh, with no tabs. Uh, this guy measures only three and a quarter inches tall um, by like three inches wide. So relatively very small piece, um, no tabs, um, and it cut it out fine. There was no movement and it worked. It a huge time saver for me. All right, guys, well, that wraps up with Alex here. I hope this is informative and I hope it shows the power of proper vacuum holding with using All Star CNC's products. Alex, do you have any final last words or comments? No, I'm just incredibly grateful and thankful that you came up with this product and I cannot wait to use it more in the future. Absolutely. This is a first look, a first dive into it. It's the first time Alex has used this vacuum solution. Um, so I hope to continue this, see what he learns and continue the process cutting stuff out and obviously just you know figuring out what the capabilities are of the vacuum solution it does have limitations like we say but i think this is pretty incredible that you can cut a very small part like this on a desktop cnc uh, prior to this solution there's nothing else on the market that i'm aware of which is why i developed this because i think this technology with all-star cnc products needs to be in the hands of desktop users this is going to revolutionize the game would you agree agreed all right thanks alex hey absolutely thank you guys